Hi, everybody. This is Jude Valentine, Coordinator of Studio and Public Programs at the Farnsworth Art Museum. And today I'd like to show you just a quick tutorial on um, making some Valentine's Day cards. So here's our materials. We've got um, some pre-folded pre, uh, card stock. And this comes, um, I think Strathmore makes this also, but this is from Paper Crafter. And uh, it's got the cardstock pre-folded, and then there's envelopes in this package also. And this is a fairly nice weight. It's a, it's a little bit heavier cardstock, but you could run it through your printer if you wanted to, to uh, kind of enhance any of the, you know, put some more lettering on it or enhance any of the, the, the artwork that you made. So I'm gonna show you some that I pre, that I did already, I pre-did. So you can see, so here's uh, here's one. Just, these are really quick. So, and you, they, they fold up nice and you can put them right in an envelope. Here's another one. This is the inside, this is the outside. So I'll show you how I did these with uh, masking tape. Same, same with this one. These areas in here were masks masked off and then I went inside and drew on top of them. So um, again we're, we're using watercolor this week. I've got my my handy dandy student whoops <laughs> oh dear student watercolor palette. Let me set myself straight here. Okay I've got my um, my brushes and I've got just like last week I have my um, permanent marker. It's a indelible water not water soluble i've got some gel pens and then i've got these which are really cool these are um watercolor crayons so they're crayons but you can put paint into them and create cool effects so that's that's what i wanted to show you so let's get started i've got um i've got a couple of hearts here that i've already used ones, but they're still usable. So I'm just gonna tape these down. There's three of them. And if you have wider tape, of course, you can make bigger, bigger hearts. This is just the green painter's tape. It's like, I think it's called frog tape, but there's a nice, there's a blue tape also that will work. And it's mostly, it comes, it does come about two inches wide. This is only an inch. All right, so I'm just going to position some of these. I cut three out, not to go crazy, but I'm going to um, going to wet my brush, charge up my, uh, let me pull this over, I'm going to charge up my color here. And then I'm going to start in the middle and pull the color out from the edge of the little heart shape. So, and there's some, maybe some dry brush involved. You don't have to have the brush saturated with color and it might have less in it as you go. So there's, uh, there's something that's started and I'm just gonna put that aside and I'm gonna grab another sheet and uh, maybe I'm gonna go this way with it instead. And, uh, you know, our favorite motif for Valentine's Day is uh <laughs> is hearts but you could also do some flowers of course and uh i'm gonna do uh just for fun i'm gonna do some flowers on the back here so actually i'm gonna turn this one around and i'm gonna put some just some flower shapes some bright colors bright is good in february right Bright is good, especially for these darkish days. But the light is coming back. It's February. We're we're at the halfway point in winter, so that's that's really good. All right, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. This is all I'm doing this while all these other other ones are drying, and I'm gonna come in and you know put some stems in, maybe some leaves. So this doesn't have to be exact. And 
um, you know, maybe your leaves want to be different. Like maybe you want to put in like some feathery leaves instead of round leaves. So it's totally optional. This is, this is just for fun. Like this is the best fun. <laughs> in my opinion, this is the best fun. But anyway, um, you can be as loose or as specific as you want to be with this because what we can do is on the other side once these dry we can come in and we can we can tighten it up we can tighten up our drawing with some overlay of pen work all right so i'm coming back to my hearts on this side and and i'm going to put my brushes down for a minute and i'm going to pick up some watercolor crayons and just kind of layer that, layer those in. So you can see just the kind of playing with the media, you know, playing with the, uh, with the tools. And you can get like a whole different effect, you know, so combining, com combining media is really fun. And the idea is fun, right? Just for fun. And, you know, like bringing to mind maybe the people that you love that you want to send these cards to. Because that's what the world needs right now is love, right? More love is good. All right. So here we go. We're going to keep, kind of keep, uh, keep, I'm going to keep building around and around with these, uh, with these crayons. And you'll see where, where we end up because I'm going to take my watercolor brush to them in a minute. So just bear with me. And I can put one in the corner over here, maybe another one over here. It doesn't have to stay on the page, right? All right, I know, I'm getting a little sloppy. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to rinse my brush. Actually, my water's pretty, pretty, pretty red. And I'm going to come in with my brush and kind of soften up the edges of this, of these, um, and that starts to have some, there's a little more energy going on here. So you've got to play between the hard edge and then the soft edge of the brush. And you know, you can go right over the, the into the back of the card. It's not a big deal if you want to. I'm just doing this to kind of exaggerate and and show you what might be possible but it's it's totally up to you what you want to do so there's a nice contrast between like some of the drawing of the of the crayon some of the some of the nice crisp edge of the brush and then um some of the soft edge of the um that the brush is doing as it comes in and kind of softens up the edge of the crayon and you can be as specific or as detailed or as not detailed as you want all right and you can come in this is what i was going to show you if this is dry no not yet okay so what i was going to show you is this one's dry from my previous demo so what you can what you can do is come in with your pen and just I'll try to turn this light a little bit okay you can come in and you can do some details so Maybe you want to have little wings on all of your hearts, right? Those are hard to draw, but not really. I mean, they're hard to draw with um, with a brush, but they're not so hard to draw with with a pen. So, you know, wings are just like little tents. So you can come up here and just do a little tent and then put some feathers on it. That one's going to go behind that heart. Okay. And maybe you want to make some hearts that have like little kind of heartbeat kind of lines coming out of them. Or, you know, I've seen these kind of like they're little, little beating hearts. <laughs> maybe you want to come in and define your heart a little more. Or make a heart inside of a heart. 
So that is something you can do with a with a pen. Um, that was blue, but you can also come in like with a, a little thicker, this is your permanent pigment marker, and you can come in, I'm not gonna do any more on this one, but maybe you wanna come in to your drawing on the inside and put a nice hard edge on it, or more of a defined, more of a defined line, or maybe you wanna give your, your heart a little more, has a little more dimension or like a drop shadow, you know, you can come in and put like a drop shadow on your heart. Um, you can come in to find the, the wings a little bit. Come in and define your letters maybe. for fun. Okay, and then you can go back over them with, with your oil if you want. So you see them that um, there's a little bit of give with the with the pigment ink, but not much. It doesn't move. Okay, so there's there's a couple of ideas. Um, you know, using masking tape, um, just going crazy with hearts, using watercolor crayons. Now this one, this one's pretty dry, although I can still see a little wetness here. You can come in with this one, for example. So this is all dry here, and you could come in and do like, you know. So it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. None of this needs to be exact. And you're making up your own flowers, right? Maybe if you've got double, double petals. Um, all right, so you guys get the idea. Fun. All right, so have a good time. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Lots of love, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.